بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وآله وصحبه وسلم تسليما كثيرا ما بعد الحمد لله as we're within the final of these blessed nights and days of Ramadan we're almost done with the series and inshallah ta'ala today we continue with the 27th chapter Surah An-Naml which has 93 ayat <coughs> excuse me and the name is basically An-Namlu Al-Hashratu Al-Ma'rufa it's talking about the insect the well-known insect the ant and we're told that the singular form for it is Namlatun um, as far as why the chapter is named after an ant we're told Bidhikri uh, Qissati Namlati it's because Infiradu Surati Bidhikri Qissati Namla because in this chapter the ant is especially mentioned and the only place that it's mentioned um, and therefore it's given the name of, of it because of the uniqueness of that <clears throat> Asma'uha, what other names does it have aside from An-Naml it is also known as Suratul Hudhud, the Hoopy bird as well as Suratul Sulaiman salam, the chapter of Prophet Sulaiman salam, as well as Suratul Taseen based on the two letters of how it begins مَقْصِدُهَا الْعَامِ ذِكْرُ نِعْمَةِ الرِّسَالَةِ عَلَىٰ أَنْبِيَائِهِ سُبْحَانَهُ وَتَعَالَىٰ So the first is the aspect of Allah Rabbul Alameen mentioning that revelation is a blessing from His blessings upon His prophets وَمَا تَمَيِّزَ بِهِ كُلُّ نَبِينَ مِنْ مُعْجِزَاتٍ And the second is that Allah Ta'ala in this chapter also tells us with regards to the prophets that he mentions in there what each of them had of specific miracles that were special to them Fadluha, we don't have anything that tells us anything special about its merits and, and virtues except that it is from the Mathani, those chapters that have less than a hundred and that are repeated and recited more often because they are smaller مناسبة أول سورة بآخرها الحديث عن مهمة النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم في تبليغ القرآن الكريم. So the relationship of this chapter from beginning to end is that it is a focus for the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم to convey the message of the Quran. Allah تعالى says in the beginning وَإِنَّكَ لَتُلَقَّ الْقُرْآنَ مِنْ لَدٌ حَكِيمٍ عَلِيمٍ And you certainly receive the Qur'an from the one who is all-wise and all-knowing. And he states at the end of the chapter, وَأَنْ أَتْلُوَ الْقُرْآنَ And that I will recite the Qur'an and I will follow up on the Qur'an with the Qur'an. As far as the relationship between an naml with a shuara that preceded it, we're told that, uh, that Allah Rabbul Alameen concluded the previous chapter talking about the traits of the believer. He says, except for those who believe and they perform righteous deeds and they remember Allah much. فَقَالَ أَلَّذِينَ يُقِيمُونَ الصَّلَاةَ وَيُؤْتُونَ الزَّكَاةَ وَهُمْ بِالْآخِرَةِ هُمْ يُوقِنُونَ And Allah Rabbu Alameen begins this chapter mentioning the traits of the believer saying those who establish the prayers, they give in charity and they believe and are certain of the life hereafter and all that will happen. So we see subhanAllah the relationship as a whole between the chapter itself and the chapter with that which came before it and what Allah Rabbul Alameen makes this chapter unique with in having mentioned especially the miracles of each of the different prophets that he mentions and so we find that this chapter of the ant um, is a beautiful chapter it is filled with many wonderful teachings and we ask Allah Rabbul Alameen to bless us to benefit from them and to take them to heart. Allahumma rabbana ameen. Wa salli allahumma wa sallam wa baraka ala nabina Muhammad.